Good afternoon. First of all, thank you for coming this afternoon. I just want to state up front that the investigation into the murder of Mrs. Peggy Nadell is active and ongoing. As in any criminal investigation, we will have to be circumspect in what we can and cannot release to the public at this time. I can report to you that the following people were arrested on Tuesday, May 20th, 2014, in relation to the Peggy Nadell homicide, which occurred at 644 Andover Road in Valley Cottage on January 25th of this year. Those people are Diana Nadell, age 50, of Cutler Bay, Florida. Diana is the daughter-in-law of the victim, Peggy Nadell. Diana Nadell is charged with murder in the second degree and conspiracy to commit murder in the second degree. Andrea Benson, age 25, of Washington, D.C. Andrea Benson is charged with murder in the second murder in the second degree and conspiracy to commit murder in the second degree. Tanisha Joyner, age 26, of Washington, D.C. Tanisha Joyner is charged with conspiracy to commit murder in the second degree. And Eltia Grant, age 24, of East Long Beach, California. Eltia Grant is charged with conspiracy to commit murder in the second degree. All of these people are presently in custody and awaiting extradition to New York. We don't have enough time to thank all of the law enforcement agencies and other people that have assisted us in this investigation. But I would like to mention the following. The United States Marshal Service, the FBI, the Westchester County Intelligence Unit, the Homestead Police Department in Florida, the DC Metro Police, the Prince George County Police in Maryland, the Long Beach <coughs> Police Department in California, and the Serial Beach Police Department in California. I would also like to acknowledge the Rockland County District Attorney's Office. They have been our partner in this investigation since the day the crime was discovered, and we will continue to work with them throughout the prosecution of this case. I would also like to acknowledge Detective Lieutenant Glenn Dietrich and the men and women of the Clarkstown Police Detective Bureau. Over the past three months, I have watched them work themselves almost to the point of exhaustion in order to determine the truth of what happened that morning. They have my deep respect and my profound gratitude. Peggy Nadell was a healthy and vibrant woman who had many years of life left. On January 25th, under the cover of darkness, persons came to this town, violated the sanctity of our community, and committed murder, and they thought they had gotten away with it. Because of the outstanding work of these men and women, the people responsible for that will now be coming back to this community to answer for it. Thank you. Mr. Zuckerby. I want to just reiterate what the Chief mentioned. We're unfortunately in a position where we can't comment in detail about this case since it's ongoing um, and since there's many steps to be taken at this point. Um, let me just say this. We have currently four people in custody, uh, two in Washington, D.C., one in the state of Florida, one in California. We are now working toward extraditing these individuals back to New York, and we are now, and once my assistant DA has returned to New York, they will be preparing this matter for a complete grand jury presentation um, that we expect to commence immediately. And we will be seeking indictments for the crimes of murder in the second degree against the two individuals mentioned by the chief, as well as conspiracy charges against the other individuals. You know, I've been, um, I've been in this profession for nearly 35 years. I have never seen a case that was so thoroughly and exhaustively um, investigated and pursued. This was not a case that occurred in public where there was obvious evidence and videotapes. Instead, it was, an, it was a very sophisticated investigation conducted by a professional police department. And I think it's a real credit to the town of Clarkstown Police Department that over the past four months, they left no stone unturned. They investigated every possible lead and left every option open. And it, it, it's truly a credit to them. Um, I have nothing further at this point. Supervisor Gromack. This was stated on behalf of the town board and the people of Clarkstown. Uh, we are indeed grateful for the dedication and professionalism of the Clarkstown Police. We certainly want to thank the DA and uh, the partners that we've had in this case, but the people of Clarkstown uh, should rest assured that they have one of the finest police departments in the nation, and their sworn duty is to protect their quality of life, and they do that each and every day, and we're glad that this case is starting to see 
the light of day as far as justice being served for Peggy and her family. 